Today we need to get into Matt's armies attacking a GOT7 member for allegedly copying and what that was about. We need to get into Jungkook believed to be dating um, someone in the military going viral. And then we have RM's body part trending. So you don't please save just a hit or not. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your thumbs up, taste spilling mug merch, and let's go. We need to get into something absolutely hilarious as there has been a specific body part that has gone trending on X or Twitter and people are having a fun time over this. Now this is absolutely funny and it's a joke. This is not meant to be taken seriously, so of course no one is upset about any of this. So what happened? If you're unaware, of course the BTS members are in the military, ARM specifically is someone that is the leader and everyone loves him. So there's going to be a lot of memes about him when BTS comes up. There were a few posts online that were basically taking pictures of RM's feet. Now, if you're unaware, the members of BTS love to take pictures of their feet and post it. V has done that a couple of times, and a few times V has done that just showing his feet, but other times he has done that where feet just happen to be in the picture. Now, RM has also done that as well, and armies love to take these moments and use them as a way to say that the boys are sending a private pics, or they'll often trend the phrase for free when they see feet pics on Instagram. This is obviously obviously implying that why would you post private pictures that people would normally pay for for free. And if you are unaware, there's a whole community of people who like to buy foot pics, so you can make a lot of money doing that. One specific account that was making posts saying that they will be posting a picture of RM's feet every single day until RM comes back from the military. This got so big that people were posting up to like 50 of RM's feet pics. And you might be thinking, how on earth are there so many pictures of him online? Well, a lot of these pictures are just kind of full body pictures, and other pictures are, of course, just his feet. And most of the time, of course, he has shown full body. He has shown himself walking around in his apartment, barefoot. There are episodes in his reality show where they're not wearing shoes, and there's definitely plenty of screenshots you can grab from their series in The Soup, in which you can see him and all the other members without shoes. If you do want to watch In The Soup with me and react to the series with me, then make sure you head over to Patreon. I will link that at the top of the description down below. We have such a great time laughing, fangirling, and hanging out over there. And there's currently a $1 tier with limited spots that is still open. So if you would like to join and be a part of that community over there, then make sure you check it out. I hope to see you there. Of course, a lot of armies do this in an attempt to be funny and kind of play along with the, a joke. These pictures and these moments definitely catch attention and make it kind of a little bit of an inside joke within the fandom. Because every single time armies and fans see a picture of a foot, they make it a big deal, when in reality, obviously everyone has a foot, and a foot should not be considered a private body part. But of course, a lot of people consider it such. I want to clarify, obviously I have no problem if anyone is obsessed with feet or anything like that. I think that's totally fine. I'm not necessarily into it. However, feet are right next to the part of the brain that get aroused with genitals, so it makes sense. And everyone has their own thing that they enjoy and no shame to anyone. But this, I believe, is supposed to be a joke and not to mock or promote a specific interest. Now, while this is definitely a lighthearted one, the fandom is also known to pursue a much darker endeavors. Recently, there has been a member from GOT7 that was getting a lot of backlash. So what happened and what is going on? The member yu gi -Ohm from GOT7 just released some solo work. If you're new to K-pop, all K-pop groups in between promoting as a group will also promote as solo members. This is an incredibly smart move as it makes the individual member of a group much more popular and if anything were to happen to the group itself, the label can still make money from the individual members. So yu gi -Ohm released his second solo album, I believe called Trust Me. It's not completely out yet, but it will be on February 21st, so make sure to get it. But it wouldn't be a release without some controversy, right? Because the album, of course, got some controversy. Specifically, there was a picture of him on a kind of inflatable green thing, and then he was wearing a red suit and a hat. That looked similar to one that J-Hope had worn during his album promo for Jack in the Box. People were mostly upset over the hat above other things, saying that it looked really similar to the specific black hat that J-Hope wore during the promo poster. And then of course, if you went to yu gi -Oh's Instagram account comments, you'll see a bunch of people leaving comments saying that this is a Jack in the Box reboot or that yu gi -Oh was copying J-Hope. There was a specific comment among others that I thought was really funny, accusing yu gi -Oh of being a copycat. And specifically, I've seen this a lot when K-pop fans will accuse others of doing something bad and then they'll end it with stop doing so and so. The thing is, just even using the word stop makes me feel like there's an immature person whose brain hasn't fully developed. 
How are you going to say stop in this context, making it seem like Yoo Gyum is a repeat offender? It's like saying stop burning my food when the chef burnt it once. Instead, saying don't do this would make more sense. And above all else, I really don't think that it was copying him wearing a similar hat or him using kind of not even the same color palette, but just like bright colors does not mean copying. J-Hope used blue and pink, while Yoo Gyum used green and red. It's very different. And yet the concepts are completely different if you look at the other photos from the promos. Yoo Gyum has a lot more of a playful vibe, whereas J-Hope was going for creepy. So that is definitely very different. There also has been a lot of drama in the military and such drama that I think is very interesting and we need to talk about it. There have been a lot of people saying that Jimin and Jungkook are dating because they enlisted together. The other side of the fandom has argued and said that they are definitely not dating because there's nothing romantic about two people entering the military together because they're going to be with other military soldiers. And also obviously the military is not a romantic place. What I think I'm seeing from both sides is that both arguments disprove each other. Yet yeah, someone who is dating could potentially enlist in the military together, knowing that they're going to spend a lot of time together and that they would want to endure the hardships together. On the other hand, two people could enlist together in a non-romantic way as well. It proves to me that both sides make sense. And then that means that they are probably just friends. It's funny to me when I see tweets like this online and they get like thousands to like hundreds of thousands of retweets or likes or whatever it is, and people are so heavily invested into the idea that the members must be dating each other, that they're not seeing the fact that they just have disproven all of the theories within their own comments. I'm seeing people sending death threats over this. I'm seeing people attack each other over this. And what is it for over a theory that has yet to be proven? There's also been some photos that were edited within a similar fandom that was making Jungkook kissing or sleeping with another specific member. And these photos have then gone viral. A lot of these photos are either AI generated or artistic drawings or Photoshopped photos. And I wanna say that a lot of this stuff, while I think the Photoshop things are fine, if it's clarified that it's Photoshopped, I don't necessarily agree with AI creating very visceral and disturbing images of people sleeping together. A little while ago, very recently actually, we had a Taylor Swift AI moment where people were taking Taylor Swift's face and making it seem like she was sleeping with the entire football team. And of course, these photos no longer exist on the internet, nor are they something I would even want to show here. But this goes to show how violating such photos can even be. It makes it even more weird when people are photoshopping moments assuming a sexuality when Jungkook and other members have never come out and said anything. Jungkook has mostly sung about dating a girl in his own work, and he has participated in things that would show that he is an ally of the LGBT community. However, nothing that would solidify his own place there. So no, I don't think he is kissing someone at the camp. I don't think he's doing anything at the camp other than just training. So people who are making it out to be like he's dating at the camp or he's sleeping around or he's using this as an opportunity to get ahead in his dating life, I just don't think that that's true. I don't think that the members or any soldier in the military has time to even think about dating or any of that sort of stuff. Because when do you have time to do that? Like in the middle of when your sergeant is yelling at you, you sneak off to like a bunker and sleep with someone and no shame to anyone who's done things like public intercourse and that sort of stuff. I just don't think the two idols would be doing such a thing. And yes, anywhere they would have intercourse would be public as there's no privacy in the military. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.